My name is Viola. I work remotely and I spontaneously decided to book a one-way flight to Thailand. Enjoy following along as I explore the country solo whilst working full time. Good morning everyone, I've just woken up, it is the start of a new week. I'm in a new place, I'll give you a little tour, it's a very nice uh, flat that I'm in for the next week. We're going to start the week and the day by saying three things that we are grateful for. So comment below the three things that you're grateful for. For me, number one, I'm so grateful to be here in Thailand, to have the means and the funds to be able to be here because it's just incredible and I'm having such an amazing time. So I'm so grateful for the position I'm in right now to even be here. The second thing I'm grateful for is this amazing flat and location. It's I will give you a tour, it's beautiful. I'm so grateful to be here and to call this place home for the next week. And yeah, I'm just, I'm very grateful. It's a very, very nice flat. I'm very excited to finally have a lot more space. And then the third thing that I'm really, really, really grateful for are my friends and my family for supporting me and for believing in me and for not thinking I'm crazy going on this trip. Um, yeah, they, they just are always there for me. I know that I can count on them. So I'm very grateful for them. You all know who you are. Um, they're just a message or call away. All right, so last night I was obviously staying in this massive flat completely by myself. I arrived, I think about 10 p.m. Um, and yeah, it was kind of scary at night. Like there were so many noises, all the trees around us, which is beautiful, but they were making noises that were really scaring me and it's like things were squeaking. I don't know if you can hear the squeaking in the background. Um, so <laughs> I like obviously locked the main door and then I locked the main bedroom door. I locked the bathroom door so that and then I locked my own door so you could not get to me through any of the doors because they were all locked <laughs> me being paranoid but I locked everything I was so not scared but you know I was a bit worried but it's fine I'm being joined today so I will no longer be alone which will be really nice actually it was um very spontaneous um I'm looking forward to seeing them when they arrive very special guest um yeah it's about 11 a.m 11 30 a.m had a really nice sleep. Um, I need to go down, I think, and pay at reception because it was a late check-in. And then I'm gonna have a wander, go get some food, and then I'm just gonna start, I need to start doing some work. This week is gonna be very, very, very busy work-wise. So, um, yeah, it's, I'm, not looking, I'm not looking forward to this week. It's gonna be very packed, very busy. But I'm just gonna go out, have a wander, get my bearings, because I'm in a new location. Luckily, again, right by the beach, it's about five, five, ten minute walk away. Um, and there are, there's supermarkets and restaurants literally down the street. So that's nice. And this is a condominium, so we're protected, the security and everything, um, which is also what I care about. Yeah, I didn't show you when I went to get my laundry done. This is what it looks like. They folded everything, washed everything, and this cost me, I think, 150, yeah, 115 baht, which is like, one pound fifty and it was over a kilogram of stuff but yeah everything was beautifully washed and folded as we're going to be on the hunt actually for some postcards this morning i want to get some postcards finally it's been two weeks now and i haven't found any we're gonna find some today oh my god i found some staring out the window reaching for a north star I've just been getting on with some work on the balcony. Luckily, I found there's a plug. So um, this is <laughs> this is the, the setup. So I've also had breakfast, I had a banana and a bun. I'm just getting on with some work. So that's the basic MVP. And you're not gonna go in the UK, but just from that. Mm -hmm. I've had my morning meetings. The sun has set so fast today. I'm so hungry, but I'm having dinner later. Ooh. Oh my gosh, wrong, wrong light switch. I'm having dinner later, so I can't eat anything huge or heavy. So uh, I'm gonna have a yogurt that I bought this morning. What is this orange lighting? Um, yeah, I bought a pack of like four yogurts. Um, so I'm gonna have one of these, or maybe two. Um, I haven't actually had, I just had breakfast. But yeah, um, because of the timing, I'm waiting for my friend to arrive. And then I said that we can go get dinner together. So he, he arrives, I think he, la he lands like in five minutes and then he'll probably get here within an hour, I think. So yeah, gonna plow through some more work and then I can go and get dinner. Waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, I'm here for dinner with a very special guest who's just arrived. <laughs> Guess who it is in the comments. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, Malala. Uh, so today we're at Phuket. And we're having a pad thai with coconuts. So this is what I'm going to tell everyone. When Viola recommends you go to a place, um, you should go. So apart from one little thing, Else that Viola has recommended is amazing. Thank and you. She really knows her stuff. Also, she has spent like a quarter <laughs> of the money that I have spent because I don't just budget like she should. So listen to her. Thanks. And let me film you. Okay. I have got a chicken. Mask Wait. First, I think you should stand up and show us your outfit. No. They see oh, this. Okay. I wear this dress all the time because I have no clothes. <laughs> Let's just blur that out. So don't skip the ads, please. We're trying to help her out. Chicken masam curry, it's one of my favourite curries, Thai curries. It's chicken with potatoes and it's just like really sweet with rice. Wait, do that again. With rice with rice. Wait. <laughs> the traffic isn't gonna stop if it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna start eating now. I uh, do a taste test. A taste test? Yeah. Okay. How much was this? This is 150 baht, which is more than I usually pay for dinner, but we're in a nice restaurant. <laughs> What's 150 baht converted into pounds? Three pounds. But generally... <laughs> That's a lie. Liar. It's 150 is like three pounds something. One pound is 40 baht. Oh, yeah. So... Four, eight, twelve. It's about three pounds seventy. Yeah, I said three pounds something. Oh, sorry, my bad. Sorry. As you can tell, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm gonna get money, so I'm really passionate about this. Okay. And usually, I don't spend more than about eighty to one hundred baht on a meal, so this is like double. Stop. What was? What's the flavors? Tell it's us. Really good. Really sweet. A bit tangy. It's a big portion though, so I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm really hungry. Come to try a famous Thai dessert, kind of like the Korean bingsu. You might shave ice cream dessert. If this isn't gonna get one though, I'm excited. Oh, I've yeah. chosen um, strawberry topping and um, pink man pink coconut jelly. So I went for a small one. I think it's 25 or 35. Like a camel through the needle. Everyday people are just a thousand versions of who they are. So I've gone for yeah strawberries, and this is pink coconut jelly I think so I'm excited to try this Eves decided to get one in the end this is the one he got very interesting so what toppings did you get it represents me brown because I'm brown that's the chocolate yeah and this um, represents having a personality okay nice okay so do a taste test yeah do a taste test okay so first we'll try this yogurt thing It's good. It tastes like... Yeah, I think. I don't know what you're talking about. It tastes like... Okay, let me from you and you'll get it. Yeah, it tastes like the Pakistani dish, innit? it? Mmm, it's yeah. familiar. Yeah, see? I, I think it's know. milk powder and condensed, like milk, condensed milk and sugar. back to the flat had a nice shower feeling a bit more refreshed i'm now gonna start work on the balcony it's honestly so gorgeous so that's where ibs's room is this is the table i've got this is the view and then we've got a little cute dining area living room area there as well